Is yoga actually demonic? Is it actually something to be concerned about? Or is it a bunch of just paranoia from these religious Christians thinking everything's demonic? Well, let me tell you, two years ago, I was a certified yoga instructor with hundreds of hours of training. And it was my passion. My passion was healing. My passion was helping people heal. And little did I know I was deceived. And not until I was saved by Jesus Christ did I know that, whoa, yoga is a whole different animal. This isn't just stretching and, and physical exercise. If you truly follow yoga, the spiritual path of yoga, the word yoga is to be yoked with, to be united with. And in the ancient texts of Hinduism, the Vedas, and the Bhagavad Gita, which is like the Hindu Bible, talks about being yoked with the universal consciousness. It's all about merging your soul with the universal consciousness. Now, most people going to yoga studios doing yoga have no idea about this, nor do they have any really desire to do that. They're mostly there for physical exercise, for, you know, mental health and, and something beneficial to their life to, to just stay healthy and stay flexible, which are all great things. But the thing is, you are pursuing that under a greater covering, under a greater mission of yoga, which is completely anti-biblical, completely anti-Christian, and will actually end up in extreme demonization because these gods and goddesses, many of the yoga poses are actually used to worship specific gods and goddesses. And not all of them. Many others have actually... Uh, uh, benefits to the body, to the organs, to the, to the nervous system, to the anatomy of the human body. But others are specific poses and sequences to worship the sun, to worship specific gods like Shakti and Shiva and Ganesha. And the true, the true religion of yoga is much more than just stretching. If you want to go stretch and, and, and keep your body in shape, Go stretch and keep your body in shape. But if you start getting into yoga and all this meditation and all this trying to find your inner light and trying to, you know, improve your thinking and, and you're going to start falling slowly into this new age version of yoga that, that acts like it's compatible with Christianity, but it's not at all. And there are literal demons that created this religion, that created this spiritual discipline. The Vedas were written by the ancient sages who, who received divine revelation about the discipline of yoga, about merging one's soul with the universal consciousness, Brahma, they call it. And these poses came out of that. The discipline came out of that. And now we have it in the U.S., and it's one of the most popular, growing physical activities, even spiritualities in the world, this whole new age spirituality that yoga is such a huge part of. In the end, if you are doing yoga, you are opening up doors to demons that can get into your mind and leave you, lead you away from Christ slowly. It's not going to be a, a dramatic like, whoa, right after this yoga session, I was like insanely demon possessed, unless you're literally, you're doing um, bhakti yoga, which is uh, literally chanting and, and summoning these gods and goddesses and worshiping them, then that's basically instant access to your soul from these demons. That is an instant legal right. And I was involved in this stuff. I've seen it. And kundalini yoga is literally a serpent that slithers up your spine. But they call it an energy. They call it a force that acts like a serpent that get, coils up your spine until it reaches your, your highest chakra to activate enlightenment and soul activation and harmony between all your chakras. Kundalini yoga, I have literally seen demons get cast out of people who did kundalini yoga. I did kundalini yoga. I never got super deep into it, luckily. But other people devote years to this. And they're seeking, they're seeking, they're seeking deep down in their heart. They're seeking the Lord. They're seeking Jesus, but they just can't quite find him because they're getting deceived. And that's the master of the devil's deception is the 90% truth and the 10% falsehood that leads you to hell. People involved in yoga, many of them are seeking true love. Little do they know that God is love and Jesus is the answer. If you're a Christian and you're watching this and you are a little iffy about yoga, my recommendation is to ideally stop doing yoga. 
ideally find a great practice of stretching a thing you do at home a thing you do you know at exercise class but that's not under the covering of yoga that's not under teachers who are literally dedicated to this some unconsciously many consciously to this spiritual discipline but get under the covering of something where they know that okay this is not you know spiritually related this is for my health this is for my body i want to stay healthy i want to stay limber i want to stay flexible you know i want to have some level of peace of mind you know if work is so busy things are so stressful because that's why that's what yoga is being marketed as sort of a sort of a health supplement to your lifestyle you know sort of a sort of a healing you know modality to help you be more productive to help you have better peace of mind have better joy and happiness in life you should not be seeking those things from yoga you should seek them from jesus christ you should seek those things from church from prayer from meditation on god's word that's the thing people get into this and they start seeing results in yoga and the devil's going to give you results as long as he can lead you away from christ and the truth but christ and the truth is forefront and foremost the most important thing in our lives and it's very easy for the devil to give something that helps for a little to lure you away so stay healthy you know stay flexible if you if you're all about that but understand what yoga actually is this isn't just some fun and games you know most people might not know these things most people might just practice it for good intentions but good intentions with deception can lead to destruction and you do not want that so educate people on what yoga actually is and let's actually create something that fulfills what we want which is staying healthy and staying physically active but doesn't align with these extremely demonic hindu spiritual practices that are obviously anti-biblical so that's my two cents i hope it blessed you guys just uh submit a like click that subscribe button comment any questions you have and uh, have a blessed day